We don't attract what we want, we attract what we're signaling. As vibrational transmitters, we constantly send out signals that tell the universe who we are in each moment. Those signals will either attract or repel other vibrational beings, events, and experiences. Whatever is in harmony with our state of being is what is naturally attracted. Additionally, we repel that which is out of sync with our vibrational state. If the energetic self radiates wealth and abundance, the physical reality will reflect wealth and abundance as a match to that. If the energetic self radiates anger and frustration, the physical reality will reflect that as well. Since the signals we send out at any given moment tend to be fairly complex, the experience of physical reality also tends to be equally complex for many. Once we're able to accept that the vibrational self attracts compatible patterns, it becomes clear that if we want to experience something different in our life, we must somehow change the signals we're putting out. The true signal you're emitting isn't a thought, it's a frequency. You can feel the vibrational feeling of it within your body. Human language is a bit inadequate to describe vibration, but representations might include words such as flowing, buzzing, peaceful, soaring, soft, strong, expanding, warm, or energized. Through this type of subtle practice, you should be able to get a good sense of the signals that you're sending out and the signals that you're picking up from your environment. Do these two things feel like they're in sync? Do you feel comfortable with all of the signals? Are some of these broadcasts something that you'd prefer not to be around? Your total energy signature is the entirety of all the signals you're sending out, and additionally, the signals you receive back based on your transmission and your environment. If your current life situation appears fairly stable, it's safe to say that you're maintaining what is known as vibrational equilibrium. For example, so, how do we shift any unwanted vibrations? Creating a temporary shift in vibration is easy. You can create such a change in seconds. Go for a run. Sing your favorite song. Watch something that makes you laugh. Meditate quietly. Take a cold shower. All of these things will change your state. However, this won't create any sort of lasting change if you return to your old vibration afterwards. An emotional shift indicates that you're broadcasting a new signal. The longer you can hold this new vibration, the faster your reality will shift. The second method is to intentionally replace many of your environmental signals with new ones. However, you must allow these new signals to recalibrate your own vibration until you become compatible with them. You can apply this approach by changing your environmental landscape, physically, socially, and otherwise. For example, stop spending time with unmotivated people, turn away from the television, read inspirational material that uplifts you, and choose to surround yourself with the most productive people you know. This may feel uneasy at first, but eventually you'll start to integrate the new signals and your own vibrational pattern will soon shift and come into resonance with these new people and experiences. Changing the signal you're emitting through visualization and feeling states or through intentional change in your environment generates a new pattern that can be very effective at creating a lasting change in your vibrational pattern. In order to create what you want in your life, you must shift your vibrational pattern such that you're emitting a signal that's vibrationally compatible with your goals and desires. Once a person really understands this, they can intentionally shift their frequency at will to experience what they desire possibilities are truly quite endless.